Hello friends, welcome to God Focus This Morning. The title of today's episode is Box of Chocolates. The famous line from the movie Forrest Gump went through my mind as I sat thinking about what to share with you today. It is true to a point that life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you will get. But if we allow God to direct our path, we can be sure it is all for our good. Uh, I decided to give you a box of chocolates or random thoughts, some sweet and others more like the not-so-sweet jelly filling. Random thought number one. We often are not happy with what is going on in our country. This is the jelly candy. Evil has taken over, but just for a season. Complaining will not do anything to fix it. It only makes us emotional and stirs up others. Now to the chocolate coating on this one. These things we see needs covered with prayer. God and God alone can fix the mess that we find ourselves in. But we are not alone. It is this way all over the world. We need to pray for other countries as well as our own, especially the country of Israel. 1 Thessalonians 5 and 18 In everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. Giving thanks when things are not going right or are even painful situations seems the opposite of how we're feeling. We cannot go by our emotions but press through and give God thanks anyway. Even the hard things are working out for our good, even if we never understand the reasons. Random thought number two. God honors the bold and the brave. This is why I encourage you to be bold and brave and to keep your focus on God or your God focus. If we can keep our focus on him, everything else will work itself out. The enemy loves nothing more than to put us in a position of fear. Fear is not faith. Fear is the seed of doubt that the enemy tries to plant in our minds. If the fear is allowed to grow, it will turn into full-blown doubt and unbelief. We have to cut the enemy off when a stray thought enters our mind. When situations arise that we have never dealt with before, it is easy to have trepidation. The enemy can spot our uncertainty. At this point, he is rubbing his hands together in excitement. Then he will say, I have the perfect lie to plant doubt and fear. As children of the Most High God, we have power over him and his lies. The hard part comes in discerning the difference in our thoughts and his whispered lies. Paying attention to our thoughts is one way of taking into captivity the lies of the enemy. Throw them into a bin for God to deal with them. Then pray for him to show us what we need to know about the new situation in our life. Deuteronomy 31 and 6. Be strong and of a good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Random thought number three. Grief is a personal thing. No one can tell you how to grieve. When I lost my husband two and a half years ago, I went through the full range of emotions. I had questions of why. I believe that's normal. Then I realized that it wasn't all about my pain. Some of it had to do with God's plan for him. He was God's child too, and God did what was best for him. I would have to make peace with that fact. I found myself saying to a friend, it is not my place to question why. It is my place to simply say, I trust you, Lord even though I would never understand the reason why. But I found myself every time I wondered why, I started to say, I trust you, Lord. God sees the big picture and understands everything. He does what needs to be done. Jesus said in Matthew 5 and 4, Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. As Psalms 34 and 18 says, The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Random thought number four. Find joy in the little things. Some find joy in long walks in the woods. Others find joy in hobbies or crafts. Some find that getting lost in the pages of a good story makes them happy. As Christians, first and foremost, our joy comes from the Lord. It is what gives us peace and strength. Knowing the Lord and being in his presence is joy. The joy of the Lord is our strength, so it would stand to reason the best way to stay strong is to know the Lord. I am not talking about understanding or knowing the stories of the Bible. I mean really know him. 
having a close relationship with him. That relationship will give us the courage to navigate whatever life throws our direction. Psalm 1611, Thou will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Being in God's presence gives us joy, and joy gives us strength. That's why we often say the joy of the Lord is our strength. Random thought number five. God has a plan for each of us. Not all are called to the same things in life, but do whatever you are called to do with all of your heart. If you do not know what that is, ask God. He will answer. Just make sure you're ready to hear the answer. We are all called to go out and win souls, regardless of the other calling in our life. If he brings you to it, he will bring you through it. He will empower you to do what he needs you to do. I'm hopeful for the future of the church. Revival is on the way, and even though things appear to be at the end of time, God has one final harvest time period. Now is the time to be gathering in the sheaves. Take some time to think about this box of chocolates. I hope you found just what you needed. Always remember God loves you more than words can say. He showed us with his amazing act of love on Calvary. Thanks for watching. Until next time, be bold, be brave, and keep your God focus. Like, share, and subscribe for more encouragement. Have a great weekend.